So while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is. I'm doing it. Because nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. Um, you OK, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. OK, each department will be getting blue bins. Um, do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. I'm sorry, everybody. What were we talking about? Recycling? Dentist pulled the tooth out yesterday. But it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your coworkers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Plus, it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> All dressed in boo, boo, Leslie, no, boo, boo, boo. Dude, what are you doing? I'm being awesome. Boo, boo, Leslie, boo. My friend, I don't think you understand what a bad idea this is. I don't think you understand that I would have got a cut of that new punch burger if she hadn't screwed everything up, so. Sorry, guys, this wedding is canceled because the bride is a beehole. Hey. Check this out. Stink bomb, who knows what that does? Oh! Uh, stink bomb, are you joking? Oh my God, where did you even get a stink bomb? Amazon, baby, that's how. You are looking at a prime customer, everybody. Two days free shipping for this guy. Let's get this party started with another one, gang! No! Uh, it's terrible, Jerry, you do the wedding, who cares? Come on, man, just go home. Now who's gonna make me? It's your wedding day. I'll handle this. Here comes the bride. Time to go, sir. No. Hey, get off me. What the hell, man? Don't you touch me? Oh. Uh. I'll give you that one. But if you do it again... Oh, if I, I do what again? What? Kick your ass? Is that what you like? You want me to just oh. pout? Oh. <laughs> Yay! Best wedding ever! <laughs> oh. You broke my tooth. Well, good thing you're an orthodontist. Yeah, it is a good thing. You see my house? Five bathrooms. Great. I'm sorry, Leslie. For what? I've never presented a bride on her wedding day, so I'm not 100% sure of the duties involved, but I don't think you're supposed to punch a man in the mouth during the service. I think that's exactly what you're supposed to do if that mouth is attached to a drunk jerk face. Well, please don't worry about me. Just go and get married. No. Leslie. Ron. Listen to me very carefully. I lost my father when I was 10. I don't have any brothers. And Ken Burns never wrote me back. So I am not getting married without you there to walk me down the aisle. End of discussion. Quality welders. I, that, how did, how did you do this? Call in a few favors. Excuse me, dear. Few. Hundred favors, Mr. Vice President. Ben Wyatt from Congressman Murray's office. Hey, Ben, Dave told me you were going to be coming by, and you must be Leslie Nope. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. You're, my, my, my name just came out of your mouth. Well, yeah, it did. <laughs> well, this isn't happening. This, this isn't real. No, it's, it's happening, and I'm delighted to have you here. On behalf of the President and myself, I oh, want to... Oh, Mr. Vice be... President, I am deeply flattered, but there's no way that I could take over Madam Secretary Clinton's position. I mean... I'm confident you could do that job or any other, but okay, the reason... Okay, I will. <laughs> but, well, the reason you're here is, I'm told, you've done such a great job in your town and in the state of Indiana, and I just want to say congratulations for your public service. I just want to say thank you. Well, you, you, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Hey, you're, you're, you're very welcome. You're, okay. you're very handsome. I think we're all done. Well, you're very nice. Okay. But thank, well, thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, oh, well you will? Thank you, Mr. Vice President. You're, you're welcome. You don't let anything happen to him. Do you understand me? He is precious cargo. Today, we say goodbye to jean Ralphio Saperstein. As per his last will and testament, we will now listen to his favorite song, Bend Over by Lil Jon, featuring Tyga. Bend over, make your knee touch your elbow. Bend over, make your knee touch your elbow. 
Okay, okay. They bought it. They bought it. Do you have the insurance money? No doubt, no doubt. Let's hit it, bro. Time to start a casino in Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Don't talk about Tajikistan. This is the best idea you've ever had. No, no, no. This is God's idea. I'm just the vessel. Just sneak out of here. Do not be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. No. Don't be suspicious. 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 Ladies, 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 it's just about that time. It's with the jazziest pleasure that I bring out for you, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. Thank you, Dwayne. As always, it is a thrill to be here during this witching hour with you lovely ladies. Now relax and let the Duke Silver Trio take you on a little journey to yourself. Look, Tom, I imagine you'll want to tell everyone about this, but I have worked pretty hard to cultivate a certain authoritative or intimidating image around the office. Should we get a picture? Sure. See, I bested you. I bested you. All right, Thank thanks for you. loving the Duke. Thank you. That, that was a lovely photo. Truce? Truce. What's 5,000 times better than a candle in the wind? This song is called 5,000 Candles in the Wind. Up in horsey heaven, here's a thing. You trade your legs for angels' wings. And once we've all said goodbye, you take a running leap and you learn to fly. T-Mobile. Three words for you. Treat yourself. Treat, Treat yourself 2011. Once a year, Donna and I spend a day treating ourselves. What do we treat ourselves to? Clothes. Treat yourself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year. The floor is now open for public comments. Well, here we go. Thank you. My name is Garth Blunden, and I object to your ridiculous proposal. Uh, the Pawnee Charter uh, shall not be changed, not today, not ever. Wow, a lot of passion, Mr. Blunden. Thank you so much. Your objection is noted and officially in the record. Shall we proceed to a... No, vote? no, we shall not. Article 7, Section 3 allows for a citizen filibuster. If I stand here and refuse to yield my time, you are prohibited from voting on the bill. That section defines buffalo meat as acceptable currency. Is that the buffalo meat mm -hmm. one? I meant Article 3, Section 7. <clears throat> Let the filibustering begin. I would now like to share some ideas I have for J.J. Abrams' seventh chapter in the Star Wars saga. Pan down from the twin sons of Tatooine, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, the gloved Mandalorian armor gauntlet of Boba Fett grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit, and the feared bounty hunter pulls himself from the maw of the sand beast. 
Then Ugh, do he is right. Cut. He can do this. This is Thanos exactly why we need to modernize these laws. This kind of thing made sense when we had council in a barn and there were 80 people in the town, but, but now this is nuts. If he holds the reality gem, that means he can jump from different realities. This will be our link to the Marvel Universe from the Star Wars Universe. The hell? They're playing Cones of Dunshire. Hey, you invented that game. Are they playing any games I invented? Are they throwing dirt into a fan? The key is you have to throw the dirt into the back of the thing. How the hell did they... Um, excuse me, how did you guys get your hands on this game? Someone sent it to us. Have you played it? I invented Cones of Dunshire. You're the architect? Yeah, right. And I'm the alchemist of the hinterlands. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be an alchemist of the hinterlands. The hinterlands is a shadow kingdom that can only sustain a provost or a denier. He's right. Hey, how about this? Let's play. If I win, you give me another shot at free wireless for Pawnee. Have a seat. You want to be corporal or warrior? Neither. I'm the maverick. Play an action card. Build a bell tower inside your citadel. My shaman cast a toy burst spell on your prosperity tile. Looks like someone's out of resource gems. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> What's this? I'm offering you a draw right here, right now. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> I'm winning. I have all your resource gems. This is your last chance. Roll the dice. Gladly. Move my abbot to the ocean hex, which moves my brinksman to the devil's lair and pushes my farmer, yes, my humble farmer, directly into the central cone. This whole company is ours! Oh, no, That's it's mine. not. That's mine! Andy? It's all mine! Who broke it? I'm not mad. I just want to know. I did. I broke no, it. No, no, you didn't. Tom? Don't look at me. Look at Ben. What? I didn't break it. Huh, that's weird. How'd you even know it was broken? Because it's sitting right in front of us, and it's broken. Suspicious. No, it's not. If, if it matters, probably not, but April was the last one to use Liar, it. Liar, I don't even drink that crap. Oh, really? Then what were you doing by the coffee cart earlier? I used the wooden stirrer to push back my cuticles. Everyone knows that. Okay. Jerry. Okay, let's not fight. I broke it. Let me pay for it, Ron. No. Who broke it? Ron. Don has been awfully quiet. Really? Oh, yeah, really. Oh, now, my God. Say Don I, I, broke it. It. Oh, I broke it. It burned my hand, so I punched it. I predict 10 minutes from now, they'll be at each other's throats with war paint on their faces and a pig head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here.